Welcome to Happy Hour Garden Party Edition. Over the past few episodes, we've been talking about how to make drinks with things you can grow in your own garden, be they herbs or vegetables. We have covered cucumber, we have covered sage, we have covered mint. I'm saving the best for maybe not last, but uh, the last out of this bundle of four. Basil, the number one best good smell in the world behind pizza and hamburgers and also fresh donuts. Um, I love the way basil smells. I love, especially if I'm sitting outside and my wife is trimming it, it just the air fills the smell of basil. And I mean, where is it not good? It's good with cheese, it's good on pizza, you can make pesto out of it. Um, it's the name of one of my favorite characters in all of television comedy of all time, Basil, Basil, Basil Faulty from Faulty Towers. Um, but yeah, I love basil, and we're gonna add to the list of things you can do with basil. You can, you can drink it too. What more you're looking for. So, uh, as with the last few drinks, for the most part, except for the mint, mint julep, this is also going to be somewhat of a sour. So I'm gonna show you all how to make a basil lemonade. So, um, like the julep and the sage smash before it, we're just gonna pick a bunch of these leaves. These are relatively small, so I'm gonna go a little bit big. And I'm gonna save one of these toppers, one of these, uh, like, the tops as a uh, garnish. The most handsome one I can find. Yas. This is another one of those things, uh, go big. Go big, because why not have amazing basil flavor in your beverage? Why not, I would say. So it's just kind of fun to pick it. So I feel like I feel like this is as close as I get to gardening. Mm -hmm. Okay, that should do. Now, with these in uh, your tumbler with some ice in it, we're gonna do one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of lemon juice. That's enough liquid for us to do the job. Like the sage smash, but unlike the mint julep, we are looking to break these up, pulverize it pretty good. So really give it a good, get in there and break all the leaves up. It's a little bit messy, but it's worth it. Great. Yep. The liquid is looking green, which is awesome. That means we're ready. Now let's add vodka. I don't even know if we've used vodka in the show. But let's do two ounces of vodka. I'm going to use kettle one today. Now with all of our ingredients in here, let's uh, shake it a bit. Just get everything mixed up. And to further chill it. That'll do, because we're going to serve it on the rocks. So it's not necessarily about chilling it entirely. So now, in a Collins glass full of ice, let's just yum. See, I love this drink for a lot of reasons. One, it's delicious and refreshing. That's number one. The basil smell is incredible. And also, it just looks so cool. And again, I didn't double strain this. You'll see like little bits of uh, uh, the basil floating around in there, which is fine. Um, if you do want to double strain it, I'll only judge you silently. And that's an attractive little bundle of mint. You could also get fancy pants and put a lemon wheel on there if you wanted. Look at that. Now, isn't that a drink you'd love to hand somebody and say, here, here, pal. Here, pal, I made you a Bev. And they'll do like, they'll go like this, like, oh, thank you. And then they'll, they'll sip it. And then they will say, this is unbelievably refreshing. The basil really comes through, not only visually, but in flavor as well. 
thank you, friend, for this drink that you just made for me. That's probably exactly what they'll say. The basil lemonade. Make one. I mean, you can also make this and not add booze. I know that the sponsor's not going to want to hear that. So if you have a friend over that wants like a virgin cocktail, uh, you can just like add some soda water, for instance. But regardless, a delicious beverage. Can't recommend this one enough. It's one of my favorites of all time. This has been the Basil Lemonade, and this has been Happy Hour, brought to you by Maine Spirits. You can learn more about this drink and many other drinks at mainspirits.com. You can download their app for your smartphone, which is a smart move. What to buy, where to buy it, and what to do with it once you get it. You can also follow them on Instagram at mean underscore spirits, but no matter what you do with your spare time, we implore you to drink deliciously and responsibly. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.